but yeah. That was off the record. That was off the record. Everything's off the record until I open my mouth. You're on the air. Anyways, we'll start it the right way. Hi, I'm Treble, and these guys are the gun runners, and Tony's over there. And we're going to refer to you until you sit in that chair every chance we get. I think we should, you know what we should do? Every sentence we say is going to be Tony says, and then we can say it. It's, it's going to be like the Simon says, only it's going to be Tony says. So, Tony says, thank you so very much for joining us today. Absolutely loving the music, love the new singer. Not that we didn't love the old singer, but he's still doing some singing, and for medical reasons, I'm not able to anymore. I'm sure we'll get a little bit more into that, but... You picked well. You did good. Absolutely loved it. And uh, we will start down there. With Actually, the I, I have something to say. Uh -huh. You really look beautiful. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Tony, he's like, mm. <laughs> That's it. So we will uh, ask you guys to introduce yourselves to Tony over there. He might not know you, so uh, we can start down there. How you doing, Tony? Good, thank you. My name is Jason. I'm a bass player for the Gun Owners and a bass player for a band called Drizzle. Drizzle. This guy's punk rock band. Hey! Drizzle! Drizzle. Exactly. Is right. it Tony in Drizzle? No, uh, yeah, Tony is in Drizzle. <laughs> All right. Might as well see I think Tony's going to get more Tony in than the rest of us. I'm Ted Rivier, uh, guitar player, um, backup singer for the Gun Runners. Former lead singer. And you are? The newest member. Tony says. Tony says. Tony would like to know who you are. Don't Tony said that, but I'm the new singer. <laughs> Tony was the deciding vote. Well, you have to tell me. Hey, my name is Ryan Daniels. Liar. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. And, uh, Tony said I joined the band like what, six months ago or five months ago? Yeah. And he follows direction well. Yeah. yeah. Tony knows. Tony knows. Tony knows. To make sure I do exactly what I told him. Yeah. My name's Sam, I'm the drummer for the Gun Runners, and a resident old man. <laughs> Tony says I'm the best in the business. Yeah! That's because Tony knows, Dan. Tony knows. And there is, we can uh, actually, we can attribute the, the empty seat to Kenny, who is not here, which is why Tony is here, because he wasn't able to make it. And he is Kenny, what's his last name? Williams. And Whiskey Dog. Whiskey Dog. And he is normally up on stage with you, but unfortunately he couldn't make it. He was just the smartest one of the bunch and slept in and so You know that shit, right? Because totally, there are some days when it's like, man, if I could phone that shit in. Because Saturday mornings, I truly understand. And you guys played a gig last night, so major, major, major thanks to you guys coming here and waking Tony up. Tony woke everybody up, we're yeah. sure. Tony was like driving the short bus, picking y'all up this morning, I'm quite sure. So, uh, we will start once again with you. And, uh, Tony wants to know how long you've been playing bass and how you got into it and all that other fun stuff. Alright, um, I've been playing bass for probably the last 11 years. I moved here from Colorado. And uh, I got here and I started playing bass with Drizzle. That's where I got my start from. And uh, I've just been fucking doing that ever since. And I've been playing with the gun owners for about a year now. And uh, one night we uh, saw at the uh, Territorial and uh, there were the three piece and uh, hey, you guys need a fucking bass player? And, um, Don't you love the internet? We get to say fuck. Yeah. Okay? yeah. And, yes. Uh, I love saying fuck. <laughs> It's my favorite word. It's, it's like our right. Exactly. It's, 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 it's everywhere. Word. I love it's it. Like, fuck you, you fucking fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> says it all. But um, exactly. And um, I just been doing this, just been rocking out ever since. And uh, I love playing with the Gunrunners. They're an amazing band to me, and we like to tear shit up. Okay. Tony, 
Yeah, yeah them, Tony yes. does let me play. I, I had to get a permission slip. You know, he writes it every week. And uh, Hello, he's a, he's a great guy. Awesome. Sit your ass down, you fucking homo. Tony says no. Because you know what? It's, it's a portable camera, so it's not going to be a problem. Hey, there you go. It's in a little bit. I'm going to just be like Tony Cannon. All, all right, right. Yeah. there you go. I love it. Second set is dedicated to Tony. <laughs> Uh, been playing guitar off and on since 14. And, uh, Picked it up to pick up girls, we know. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. Actually, that's all. That's two. why we play new things. I know. Pick up chicks. for money. Yeah, it's not this exactly. town. Oh, no. Actually, for two particular girls in mind. Actually, really. Um, Jane Weedland, if you can find oh, me. Yes. And, uh, and Annabella Lewin. Oh, they were. And when I found out about it was only 16, I thought, well, oh, I got the child. That's like close. But, we can uh, do it. It was close. But anyway, that's what. Now with all those artists and two singers, uh, you know, Jane Wheeler's from the Go Go's and Annabelle's from Bow Wow Wow. So, anyway, so that's what got me started. Um, what was the rest of it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't you don't you don't don't know. Don't you don't know. Don't you don't know. Don't you know. Don't you know. Um, the gun, 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 I relocated and the guitar player for Harold's Mary, um, Amy Mendoza, Mendoza. She, she, uh, she used to come down and visit me to hang out and uh, go to the club calls. Because I've been talking about my home Tucson City for but like years. And um, so she just wanted to check it out since I was living here. <clears throat> and then we started a recording project called Copper Green. From that point, we had about six songs that didn't fit the whole recording project, and that became the core of the government. And from there, it you know things just happened, and now we're where we are. The short version. See Sam and Tony. The short Tony version. I know. Tony's hiding. That's okay. He knows how to turn the camera. Yeah. It's Tony Sam. Cam on there. It's it's second set. Tony Cam. I'm gonna be all like. Zoom in All in the world, buddy. It's give you. <laughs> it's only a few people watching. Yeah, a lot more. All right. We all run around. And you party. are the newest member of the band. And oh, she covered like a face. puppy. He's totally a hyper dog. His name is the kid. The kid. The kid. Yes. So how? Who gave that name? <laughs> the old man. The old man. <laughs> My you kids are like his age. I think mine are older. I'm going to say. Oh, really? Does, does that make you red? Yes. Okay. He's close. I'm working for that patrol. He's close. 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 It's probably a lot more interesting because the kid hasn't been around that long. <laughs> well, because the kids in the room, I'm going to try to keep it like R and not say fuck, 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 fuck. Anyways, but that would be how I got so many kids, literally. Um, wow. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> See, that's, that's, that's almost two shots now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the one who said it, so now he owes me some Jaeger. No, anyways. How did you, did these guys find you? Did you find them? How'd that all come about? How'd you decide you wanted to sing in rock band? I, I was friends with Ted for like, uh, I think about a year before I joined. Um, and we, he would, we would just talk, he would come into my work and we would talk about music and, and, uh, and, uh, um, and I, I was like kind of, kind of involved in some like uh, musical projects, but most of it was just like garage band type stuff. And, like uh, um, just kind of working with a couple people and we just, I mean nothing, nothing like where we play shows or anything like that, we just kind of play 
garage paint type of stuff. And, uh, um, and Ted told me about his, um, I mean, we, we realized that we both similar kind of musical interests and stuff Boy, like says, that. Look at the camera way. <laughs> Tony says, look at the camera. Tony says, look at the camera. There's a pretty girl standing behind it now, so it should be easy. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> So, so. Oh, there we go. Oh, good now. No blushing. <laughs> so, uh, you were saying, <laughs> so, Tony's in control. <laughs> so Ted, Ted came to me and like told, talked to me about uh, about his per permanent late franchise. So uh, um, he wanted me to to, to uh, audition for the gun runners and like, and uh, I showed up and it was a lot of fun and like, it was. Really freaking out. I, went, I was going over all the songs and stuff like that, and gave me a recording. And I was, I was like sitting and you know, just going over the songs and stuff like that, and went in there. And I really only had like one or two down, I think. And it was still really, really like okay. But you know, Ted's had a lot of faith in me, so so uh, definitely. Had, oh, oh, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> but but, uh, but yeah, Ted's had a lot of faith in me, so um, that's. You know, He's yeah. just working this voice to make five ninety five on the nine hundred. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so I, I've been uh, in the band for like six months or five months, and uh, we practice twice a week, and usually do a show every weekend at least. So it's been pretty crazy. I mean, it's just something that I, I can't even believe is happening to me right now. You know, it's just it's it's insane. You know, like I. I was talking to my uh, my girlfriend about you know like doing shows and something like that. And she never thought it would happen, but it, it's it's happening right now. You know we're doing shows, so it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. So very cool. Man. Introduce yourself, to Tony. Tell him how long you've been playing. My name's Jimmy Carl Black. I'm the leader <laughs> of the group. <laughs> <laughs> I've been with these guys, I don't know, about a year and a half or something like that. Came out of retirement, had to raise a family, pay mortgage and all that good stuff. And uh, now I got another son. It's to be like I thought I was out in the diaper aisle, but you know, there it is. Nah, just kidding, right? Um, but uh, we've, been having, we've been having a blast. Um, I did this a long time ago, like I say, it took 20 some odd years off. Tony said, you've got to get your ass back on the stage. So there it was, and here I am. See, I think it was Tony, not Ted, who started the Young Runners. Like, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Tony had this idea for the Young Runners, and he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he was like, I'm going to do this. And he if you play it, they will come. <laughs> That's about it. It's all Tony's fault. So, exactly. and he's wearing. You're wearing an old Cox shirt, aren't old you? Old Cox, yeah. Yes, we love old Cox. <laughs> that should make him happy. Oh. Okay. Yes, I did. That was going to really good throw down, man. Check your map. He's Tony started it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I hope they're just looking for something, not like spending over. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, you might like as well buy the bottle, man, because uh, we got it about three or four times. <laughs> it's all good. And speaking of playing out and stuff, and even if I weren't, this is a good segue. Where are you guys playing next? How can people, like, I know you have a Facebook page. That's some of the best damn show posters ever. Seriously, did you see the one for today's show? That was so awesome. Absolutely loved it. Um, where are you guys playing out? Uh, how can they get you on Facebook, Reverb Nation, all that other fun stuff? Um, we're in the Reverb Nation under the Gunrunners. We also got uh, an official uh, Gunrunners uh, Facebook called Support Your Local Gunrunner. So. We got a couple other fan gun runner ones, and of course, mine is says the gun runners too. So if you Google us, you'll find us. Um, as for shows, we've got um, the Surly Wench on August 17th, 
and then we're working on something for uh, Goathead Saloon and, and Phoenix, and then we're working on something for East Side Tap. Uh, right now, the, the Sober Wings thing is with uh, Gila Ben, who's an awesome band, and uh, Mike P, one of his bands, I think it's the Galleywags. Yeah. yeah, I think it's called the Galleywags. It's, it's this project. It's got, I mean, the guy's always got a project going on. He's always on. got a project. He's so talented, though. Yes. We love you, Michael. And he's the nicest guy, too. I know. You know? He's been on the show, I think, in two different projects. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He rocks. He's a really cool guy. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's sort of white, and I'm really stoked. That the so two now. <laughs> and there's Tony! Hey, Tony! 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 Just click his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, hit the question. Tony, how long have you been playing guitar? That was your side you me to I don't even remember. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. But anyways, uh, I love these guys. They're, they're a really good group. One of my band of brothers. And I'm just here to help them out and support. So I, I appreciate you guys coming in and listening to us on the webcast. And I trouble, thank you for everything you've done. And oh, you are so out of it. <laughs> And uh, I'll back to you. <laughs> and we truly appreciate you filling in because Saturday mornings, most people, it's like, dude, can you play Saturday morning, 11 a.m.? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's, it's uh, I get three more know, days working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely appreciate that, doing a hell of a job filling in. And uh, you definitely want to go to the Surly Wench and see these guys because that will be absolutely an amazing show, I'm sure, especially if you're that's the next one. And you can go to Facebook, to the Gun Runners Ted's page, anybody's page. Definitely check it out. They'll be posting stuff. All of the recordings from today are, as soon as I record them, they're all on Ustream. I do post them on YouTube on Troubling AZ1, so you can see them there. And if you want to see the whole show without breaks and all sorts of fun stuff, it will be on Tuesday night, 7 to 9 p.m. at dukeandcat.com. So there's a whole bunch of ways that you can see this today. Um, the horror show of the Tony's interview featuring the gun yeah. That's That's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to switch the name of the, of the event to Tony and the Gun Runners. So <laughs> the Gun Runners are backing up Tony today while he makes his premiere appearance on the Breakfast Club show with Trouble. Easier, but yeah. No, yeah, he's a man to be so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's gonna be like, well, what did I mean? <laughs> we love you, Kenny. You've got mad talent, and we can't wait to see you at the Surly Wench when yeah. you're back up on yeah, stage. Yeah, definitely. So, definitely. But speaking of back up on stage, we'll give you guys a few seconds to like collect yourself and, you know, genuflect hey, to Tony. No, I didn't say that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we have enough time for that. But, anyways. <laughs> And then we'll let you hit the stage for set number two, which may or may not feature that egg. What was that? Who writes what? So, I caught that earlier. It's like, I love it when bands, like, the guy with the worst handwriting is always the one to write the set list. What is with that? Because then everybody's like... He usually puts it on the computer, it's all nice and neat and everything. He keeps leaving them on his bed. I don't want to... I was going to say I don't want to go there. That might have sounded rude, but yeah. Hmm. Anyways, we're going to take a break. They're going to get back on stage. So stick around for more Tony and the Gun Runners. Yeah! Hit the buttons, Luigi. I'm hitting your buttons. Uh -oh.